Hey everybody, it's AJ from Disney Food Blog. Today we are gonna talk about something a little bit controversial. We're gonna head back over to the Disney dining plan. Now we've done several videos about the dining plan, free dining plan and things like that, so you can check all those out. Today we're gonna talk about how to master the dining plan if you do choose to purchase it. Again, this is controversial. Some people say it's a great deal, some people say it's not a good deal at all. So you'll have to do your research, watch our videos, go check out Disney Food Blog. We have a Disney dining plan FAQ over there and check out and see if it's right for your family. But today we're definitely gonna talk about if you do purchase the dining plan, here's how to get the biggest bang for your buck. So let's get started. The first thing to note is to make sure to use all of your credits. You've already paid for those credits, so if you're not using them, that's basically just throwing money away. So make sure you keep track of those credits and use all of your credits when you are using the Disney dining plan in Walt Disney World. The second thing you need to remember to do is to eat all of the food. There's a lot of food included on the dining plan. In fact, that's one of its criticisms is that people say that they just don't wanna eat that much food. And so when they prepay for it, they feel like they have to and they're required to. And to be fair, if you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck out of your dining plan, you do need to eat all of it. So keep an eye before you purchase the dining plan, keep an eye on exactly how much food you're gonna to have to consume to get your money's worth. But if you're cool with that, and if you buy the dining plan, be sure to get the most expensive of things on the menu. Obviously, that's how you're going to get the biggest bang for your bucks. You're going to order the lobster. You're going to order the steak. You're going to order, you know, whatever's the uh, fanciest and most expensive on that menu to get the biggest bang for your buck out of the dining plan. And don't forget to eat all of it. Remember, you know, your desserts included. So you got to get dessert, your beverages included, the alcohols included. So make sure that you keep an eye on those prices and order everything that's included in your dining plan to get the biggest bang for the buck. Speaking of alcohol, this is new in the 2018 dining plan. You actually get an alcoholic beverage with every one of your meal credits. So that's a table service or counter service meal credit. You get an alcoholic beverage included if that's the kind of beverage you want to drink. So of course that's going to give you the biggest bang for your buck is drinking the alcohol instead of a non-alcoholic beverage with each meal that you have on your dining plan. So check out the alcohol that's available. Check out what they are going to offer. We actually have a couple of posts up on Disney Food Blog that we're updating regularly with the kinds of drinks that are included that people are getting for their dining plan credit, both counter service and table service, as well as the kind of non-alcoholic drinks that people are getting because those have kind of been plussed up a little bit too with those fancy milkshakes and things like that. So keep an eye on Disney Food Blog to see what alcoholic drinks are actually included with your dining plan credit. If you are a drinker, if you do enjoy alcohol, go ahead and get it because that's going to get you the biggest bang for your buck with your dining plan. All right, so along the same lines, we're telling you to kind of look at the pricing, look at the most expensive items on the menu. Be sure when you're doing your research to see where you're gonna get the best value for your credits as well. Here at Disney Food Blog, we always put up every year the best value for one credit, two credits, snack credits, and counter service credits up on the blog. And we did it last year here on the um, channel, and I think we'll do it again this year. We just sort of crunch the numbers for you and tell you which locations we not only recommend, but are also really good value on the dining plan. So keep an eye out for that, but also do your own research. Look at the menus, see where you're going to be able to get items that sound really good for you, but are also more expensive items. So you can get that value for your dining plan credit. And while you're there also, please keep track of your credits. Make sure that you know how many credits you have left so you don't end up with like 35 snack credits at the end of your trip. So you're just kind of buying things willy nilly to pack in your suitcase. So plan your credits ahead of time, know what you're gonna spend when, and be aware when you're there of what you're spending and what credits you have left over so you don't leave any on the table, so to speak. All right, so you're also gonna want to make sure that you don't use your snack credits to purchase beverages. This is kind of one of those nuanced tips, but it really does make sense because beverages are included in your dining plan. So beverages are included in those counter service, one credit, two credit meals. You don't want to use your snacks to purchase, you know, a bottle of water or a bottle of Coca-Cola or something like that. Use your snack credits for the high value snack credit items and get your drinks with your meals. That goes back to the tip to kind of get the best value for your credits, of course. But if you find yourself sort of buying a bottle of water with your snack credit, think again, because you can probably use that snack credit to get a much higher value value item and just pay out of pocket for your bottle of water. I don't know, these days bottles of water at Disney World are like five bucks, I guess, so it may be worth it, but ideally you'd get your beverage with your meal credit and then use your snack credit to get something better. 
All right, now this is another kind of nuanced tip. Don't spend your credits on breakfast. Breakfast is the least expensive meal of the day at Walt Disney World, and that includes counter service, table service, and signature meals. So you're gonna spend less on breakfast than you're gonna spend on any other comparable meal. So consider using those credits to get lunch or dinner rather than breakfast. And also, I mean, the only thing that would make sense is to use a snack credit on breakfast. But again, they're gonna be less expensive items anyhow, so it may not make sense to even do that. You may just pay out of pocket for breakfast and then use your credits for lunch, dinner, and snacks later on. And then this is, of course, my biggest tip. We here at Disney Food Blog, we put out a snack guide bundle. We research all the snacks in all the parks and we update our eBooks about them every year. So if you haven't already purchased our snack guide bundle, go ahead and pick that up because we note for you which snacks are snack credits, which ones are worth your money, which ones are highest value. So we have a lot of information in there for you if you're trying to figure out where to use your snack credits while you're on the Disney Dining Plan. These are really, really useful books. We get lots of really great comments from our purchasers and readers. So check those out absolutely at dfbstore.com. All right, so let us know in the comments, what are your tips to master the Disney dining plan and to get the best value out of your dining plan credits? Let us know in the comments and please give us a like and a subscribe if you're liking our channel. We, we'd love to have you subscribe and that way you'll see when we post brand new videos right in your inbox. And as always, we really, really appreciate your feedback, your comments, your emails. We are having so much fun learning and hearing from you guys. So please keep that up. Let us know your thoughts. And let us know in the comments other things that might help other viewers as well. I think you guys are really helping each other in the comments as well. So thank you so much for that. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.